Hey YouTube friends, SurvivalCraft here. This is Honeysuckle Vine, and I'm sure we're all familiar with Honeysuckle. It has nice little flowers that are white or yellow, and they have a very sweet honey-like smell to them, and their nectar is equally sweet. Aside from providing a nice fragrance and a, a small trail nibble, this can also provide you with the necessary material to make a tinder bundle or a bird's nest. What you want to do is you want to strip the outer bark of this vine off. And you can do so either by taking the vine and running it around your fingers if it's still green, and it will kind of uh, break the outer bark off and then you just kind of collect it. Or if it's dry like this, you can kind of twist and mold it and slowly pull off the outer bark. If you're lucky, you'll come across a vine like this one where all the bark has naturally peeled away and all you have to do is grab it and kind of pull it off the vine. Once you've pulled enough off the vine, either to uh, put in the center of the tinder bundle or to make the bird's nest as a whole, then you want to go ahead and rub this in your hands and kind of break it up. And the reason why you're doing this is because you want to create as much surface area as you can so that uh, the ember you put in the center uh, can, can light up the material. I decided to create a small fire with this earlier today simply by putting some of this honeysuckle vine bark in the middle of a bunch of dry grass. It wasn't quite as dry as I wanted, but it was dry enough. And then I took a piece of char cloth that I had uh, lit with a magnifying glass and I put it in the center of this uh, little bird's nest. And by the time I got the camera set up to actually film, the, the wind that was whipping by my house had already dried out all the material and I only had to blow on it once to get it to light. So this stuff goes up really quickly and it's nice to use at the center of your bird's nest because since you're getting it off a vine that's up off the ground, it stays really nice and dry year round. So when you find this stuff, gather as much as you can and put it in your PFK. That's what's under here. I'm going to put a link right up here to the right to show you what's in my PFK. But I put this in there and so whenever I need to create a fire, I've got dry material immediately. So don't, don't wait to go back to it and harvest it. When you see it, take it because it could be a valuable resource in an emergency. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, gripes, complaints, please put them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, if you would, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.